Hi folks, this is Wolfen at Wolfen Gaming. I uh, wanted to do this little video to show uh, my completion, finally, of all the class mounts and all the heritage armors that are out there currently. Hopefully this expansion we will get a few more if not complete the set. Hopefully they'll go through and get all the old races. That would be nice. So, but uh, I had I'd gotten all the heritage armors and class mounts finished up in right before the pre pre patch when they did the the squish the level squish. I um I'd had I think five I think I did five in Legion, but and I didn't do any during BFA. Well, until the end of BFA, but when I came back in. Uh, June or July, whatever. My main goal was to um, get all the heritage armors that I still didn't have, and get all the class mounts that I still didn't have. And I finished that up. I don't know, maybe a couple weeks before pre pre patch. So what was that? Maybe end of August, beginning of September. I want to say. Um, eh, maybe didn't actually it might have been a little bit later than that. So maybe I might have finished up one of the last ones in like beginning of October, maybe. I know it was right before um, the level squish, and the only one I did after the level squish was my Nightborn, because I hadn't done the priest class mount either. So I wanted to level up a Nightborn to 50. Wanted to get the heritage armor for the Nightborn. And I also wanted to get the class mount. So I was like, well, you know, let's just wait till the level squish and I can just pick Legion and just level him all the way through Legion and just kill three birds with one stone. So, but here we go. We got Wolfen. Wolfen is my second oldest character. Uh, the only reason why he's not my oldest character is because... When Vanilla came out, they did not have an RP PvP server. Uh, so my friends and I played on Argent Dawn, and there was actually my first 60 ever was Grumbledink. And actually his name was Grumbledink back then. But when uh, they came out with the RP PvP servers, we uh, left Argent Dawn and went to Maelstrom, which was an RP PvP server at that time, and um, Wolfen was a, a Torn Druid, so named Connell. And his name was Connell for, honestly, his, his name was Connell until I changed him over to a Worgen and named him Wolfen. So, because um, as you can tell, I kind of like wolves and stuff like that. But yeah. So here is the Gilneas. I liked the black cloak, and I wish there was a just. I wish there was just a sh like cane, but this is the closest I could come with it. So then we've got the Colterin, and I love the fact that I had a trident, but it kind of goes with it. So so there's that. The Iron Dwarves. I just really like the Iron Dwarves. Their armor looks really good, um, and I had to do I had to do him as a shaman because I really wanted to, to have. I really like the combination of the elemental shaman's class mount and the iron dwarf's armor, which I'll show when I show the class mounts. But I just love the combination of those two. Uh, the lightborn, is it lightborn, lightforged. I can never remember. Um, Jernai. So I need to put a better cloak on him. I don't normally wear the armor. So, but that's, the shield's kind of cool and the hammer's kind of cool, but it doesn't exactly go with the armor. But I don't play the paladin that much. Uh, my hunter, if it, I do not wear this when I play with the hunter. I just put it back on for, for this video. Uh, I normally have him actually in just a hat and some leathers and all that kind of good stuff. So he actually looks like a hunter. Um, but I like the armor. I might have to one day make a dwarf, um, 
a plate wearing dwarf just for the armor. So, to go with it. Grumbledink is my oldest character, my oldest and my first to 60 ever uh, on Argent Dawn back in vanilla. So, got him to 60. And then Maelstrom came out with the RPP PvP servers. I don't know, a couple months after I got him to 60, and uh, he sat over on Argent Dawn for the longest time. <laughs> so, uh, the Void Elves, I, I, I think the armor is pretty cool. I don't normally, I don't normally dig playing Elves, but the uh, Void Elves are actually pretty cool. And I love this, the, the whatever this is, the looking into the Void. I gotta get him with a better staff, but. Then you got Grumble Stone, who's I, I just love the Mecha Gnome's uh, heritage armor. So I thought that shield and this mace went very well with it. So kind of completes that little theme. Then you've got as you can see, yes, I have a bunch of druids. I have I have a 50 druid for every class that can be a druid. So uh, High Mountain Tauren. So kind of like the little the two little. Totems on the back. Got the little uh, bolos. So, got your little pouch. Kind of need to do some uh, transmog and find me a better, better mace that goes with this. So, but it definitely goes well with the High Mountain Tauren. Then you got the uh, Zandalari Trolls, which I love. I love this armor. And I really do like the Zandalari Trolls. They're really, I really like this as a race. But the armor really goes well with it. And you've got the regular Torn. I love that big ass totem on the back. And their armor is, <laughs> I love the armor also. The armor is really nice. So, just a lot of detail in this armor. It's very cool looking. Then you've got my goblin rogue and I love I just love all the little things on this armor you know the little bombs got all the little got all the tools and stuff around it the little <laughs> explosions on the little rocket so I really I really dig the uh, the goblins and I had you know this hammer and I had this wrench so it went, it went well with it then Volpera, I like their, I do like their little heritage armor, very, you know, deserty. So, I've, I know I've got a better gun, that was just the gun I had. I need to find a gun or a bow that goes well with this, with this kit. So, then the, the Orcs, Magar Orcs, which I probably just totally butchered that name, but, uh, he was actually named after my uh, one of my D and D characters, Korg, who is a barbarian. But I wanted to make him as a shaman, so I do like the shamans, and I like that. I like that totem; it's pretty cool. Then the Nightborn. This is probably my least favorite um, heritage armor. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong; it does look very cool, but it's just. It's not my thing, and it's I don't really, and I'm not a big fan on how the Nightborns look either. So just not my aesthetically, it's not my it's not my taste. So, but it's really cool looking armor, just not my taste. Then Blood Elves, I finished up the Blood Elves uh, this this morning actually. Um, just I totally forgot to I totally forgot to do it because I got I leveled him up, got him to fifty. Got the class mount, and um, just got busy doing other stuff and totally forgot to go do my rep grind in um, Outlands, Netherstorm, Mechanar. That's where I always do my rep grinds at, because it takes me like five minutes to do a lap, and it's about 2,600 rep. So, so yeah, it's definitely worth going to Mechanar. I cracked it out in probably less than an hour. Um... And that was starting off at like 1100 friendly, so yeah. So if you got to if you got to burn through some rep, go there. Highly recommend it. So, but it was cool going through the Blood Elf um, Heritage Armor stuff. Just there are some things I knew, 
about you know their storyline, but there's some things I I learned dur during it also. So that was actually kind of cool. Plus, you know, seeing Sylv seeing Sylvanas, you know, sacrificing for her, for her people, and then Shadowlands. We got Shadowlands where you know something's got to be up. Of there, she has a plan, and she's using the jailer to save her people, but maybe not. Maybe she just wants to see the world burn. So, but let's go to class mounts. So we'll go with Wolfen's uh, Owl. So, this part will take a little bit longer. Yeah, unfortunately this is my take two because I forgot to change from offline to live. So, yeah, I totally forgot to do that, and I totally recorded for 30 minutes, and started re started downloading it, and went, you got to be kidding me. But, yeah, so, so, yeah, so here's the, the Druid's Owl form, which, it sucks right now in Shadowlands until the first patch, I think, is when we get flying, because right now, I don't get to see this. Which really sucks. I think this is the only class mount that you do not see in Shadowlands currently. But, oops, nope, nope, nope. But yeah, it's, I like it. I'd go between this and the Raven though, because I like both. And I like the fact that I can now just do it in the barber shop instead of having to go back to Moonglade. Nope, don't need that shaman. This is probably one of my best combos. Because I love the Iron Dwarf's armor, heritage armor, and I love the Elemental Shaman's class mount. They just go perfectly together. So, so let's get this here. Come on. Get rid of you. Get rid of that. But here you go with this. It just, yeah. You just get a really good combo with all this. It doesn't have as much detail as some of the other um, class mounts. I guess it. I guess it kind of does. I was thinking more of the heritage armor, but yeah. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, favorite combos, and one of the reasons why I got back into doing the class mounts was I really wanted the shamans. And uh, there's a couple. Of, I really wanted the shamans. I really wanted the rogues. And I really wanted the hunters. And ne and none of those I had done in Legion, because I really wasn't playing any of those, even as alts. So I had them. Like I'd gotten them to, what was it, 110? Yeah, I'd gotten you know those classes to 110. But I just, by the time of the end of Legion, I was like, I'm not doing any more class mounts. <laughs> so you got the paladins, which is a horse. Of course, of course. But I still like it. It still looks good. Um, my wife hates the fact that the Paladins and the Warlocks just got horses. I actually love the Warlocks. The Paladins, I'm like, whatever. Um, I still love... I mean, it still looks great. And I really don't know what else they would have been. <laughs> so, But they do look good. I love the little, the little aesthetic thing that they're that they're doing now. I believe, uh, I believe the Lightforge Drenai also have that uh, same feature going on. So, but it is a very cool looking horse. I just don't play my Paladin that much, but it still looks good. On to the next hunter. This is definitely one of my favorites, just for a simple fact of it's a wolf. Well, wolf hawk, but I like the combo. But does look good. But yeah, between this and the shaman were two of the main reasons why I started up the class mount thing again when I came back in uh, in June. It took I basically took a little bit of a break eh, uh, in February because I really just didn't feel like doing. The corruption thing. I'm like, expansion's coming out, whatever. 
and I went and played Lord of the Rings Online for a few months, just because I wanted to play. I really, I had, I'd messed with the game a couple of times, but I really never leveled that much. I'd get like to 20 or something and then get bored. But this time I forced myself to keep playing it until I got to the Mines of Moria, got through Mines of Moria, and then made sure I got to, got high enough where I could just walk through Mines of Moria and just explore it without having to worry about anything. But here's, uh, but here's, I love this Wolfhawk. I love the little arrows, I love his little, the little satchel there. But this is definitely one of my favorite uh, mounts. Let's see. But yeah, but he's he's good looking. Mage. His armor just went. His mount. He was my second class mount I got in Legion. But basically, I did all my stuff with the Druid, then I made sure I got... I always make sure I get Grumbledink up to, you know, maxed out. I mean, honestly, with how long expansions are, I always end up getting all my classes up. But he's always one of my first ones. After whatever main I do. But yeah. This is also... I, I do like this class, this class mount. It is pretty cool looking. So I just like the disc, but it also just goes well with with my little with with him because I've always I've always had him with his hair color. So his hair is a little different. It, it was this type of hair before, but it was uh, the gnome version, just a more slicked back. So, but when this came out, I was like, ooh, I need to get this. So, but. The next priest. This was actually my last class mount because I really did not like uh, the priest class mount. I really had no desire to get it. Um, I just didn't like d aesthetically. It just did not click any boxes whatsoever for me um, until I got it, and I got it on the shadow priest. And then I was like, oh, I love this mount now. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mounts. So, it's just the purple, the purple and the void elf. I love the void elf um, aesthetics as far as, you know, the purple hair and then goes out to this light purple glowy stuff. And this mount has the same, uh, same aesthetics. So I just, so when I got it the first time, when I got it and then I mounted up on it, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, I, this is now one of my favorites. So. Alrighty, next. Let's see, Warrior, I haven't showed this. Warriors was just one that I completed. It looks cool. I, I enjoy, I like the some of the aesthetics that it's got on its, uh, that's added to like the saddle and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. But as far as the creature that's the mount, eh, whatever. I didn't like this, I didn't really like this version in Draenor. Because I know there was a... Um, I know there was, I'm pretty sure there was something like this in Draenor, and it's just never been a thing for me. It never, it never, you know, ticked any boxes for me. But I love the golf bags of the weapons. That's, that's just fun. <laughs> that I like, I mean, the little shields on him are pretty cool. I just wish it would have been a different creature for the mount. But I'm sure there is a reason why they have it that way. Or why they chose this one. Uh, let's see. Druids, 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 Rogue. Oh, no, actually. Let's do this Rogue. Just because it's the whole Gilneas uh, Raven theme. So, like, uh, this was one of the main reasons why I finished up the Rogue. I already finished it because I had Grinchy with his Heritage Armor when they came out with it. But, uh, which, 
out of heritage armors, the goblin's heritage armor was probably the hardest to freaking get. It was a pain in the butt. Um, as far as just getting level and then trying to go get his heritage armor, holy cow, it sucked. Um, love this mount. I love how you uh, summon it and just love the look. I love the wispy, shadowy uh, stuff off him. But I think he goes great with the worgen and the rogue, and then, you know, a good black outfit with that. So, yeah. Definitely one of my favorite uh, mounts. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, Death Knight. Let's bring up his. Oh, totally skip. Wow, why did I totally skip these guys? So, did the shaman, did the hunter. Let's go demon hunter. Oh, that's, okay, that's why. Okay, so, boom, boom. Did that. Okay, that's why we already showed hunter, we already showed shaman, we already showed priest, demon hunter. Demon Hunter is another one that it's it's a Felbat. I understand that, you know, Felbats are the thing for, you know, for Legion and for all that, but I can't off the top of my head, though, really think of anything else that they could have had. Um, so, but I do love the mounting. I love the jumping up in the air, spinning and coming back down and then being here. So let me get away from all this here. But got a little tat, the little you know, fell tattoos. A couple of bones on the legs and the arms and all that kind of good stuff. And got some armor plating. So I mean, he's cool looking. It's just it's a it's a fell bat. Not one of my favorite looks, but still good, still cool, still nice job with the uh, with the armor on the on the uh, on the mountain, all that kind of good stuff. Then we've got the Death Knight. One of my, definitely one of my favorites. Just because it's a, it's a freaking, you know, Lich Dragon. So, or Undead Dragon. Just looks cold. Normally I have him, right now I've got this, I've got my Death Knight as a blood. Because I wanted to try leveling as a, uh, as a Death Knight. As, as, as a blood death knight usually usually I run in frost but but yeah this guy is just cool as hell I love him I do like the frost version better though but I have a thing for blue blue is one of my favorite colors so but but yeah definitely cool you know little skulls there love the back with the uh, the coffin, so so yeah, looks good. Uh, demon hunter, druid, rogue, demon hunter, warlock. Though the warlock has a horse, I love this horse. I love this mount. Um. It is actually probably one of my. F it's. I've got lots of favorites. I'm not sure if it. It's in my top five. I'd have to like look at all the mounts again. Originally, it was at one point. But I love this. Um, just he just looks cool. Love the green. You know the green below the uh, the green, blending effects. That they do it with the hair and all that kind of stuff now for like the Void Elves and Nightborn and all that kind of good stuff. So I just love the fact that this is there. But no, he looks he looks cool as hell. I love this mount. He looks good. So I love the fact when you run leaves the little hoof prints. Oh, let me see. Oh let's go back up. I did all that with a stupid thing. You know, got some skulls. 
of your enemies. But they just look good. And I love the, uh, the little effect of the horse hooves, the fell horse hooves. So. Just really cool. Alright. So I think we only got one more, and I believe that's the monk. Warrior monk. Anything after that? Nope. Because I only got got a death knight uh, orc and I got a warlock undead because I don't have either one of those classes on the horde side and I don't have either one of those races so I'm going to level both those two up so I can so when their heritage armors come out I can get their heritage armors so but let's show the monk I knew how to play a brewmaster. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, I could, I've done dungeons with him before. It just, it, I'm not as good with him as I am with my other tank classes. But I love this mount. This mount is so cool. Uh, and I love the fact that it talks to me. So, but let's get a little closer here. I just love the fact, you know, dog glowy. You got your K, you got your bottles of. Bottle of booze. But he's just very cool. I just wish I knew how to play a monk better. Because I really like the aesthetics that it, um, one of my kits I have just, I just really like, I just enjoy looking at. So, I just, I don't play a monk well. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's like I don't even have his background. Is a setup like everyone else's because I haven't played him recently. So, but I believe that's it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I made the video mostly because I just wanted to have something on record showing for me, you know, me getting all the heritage armors and me finally getting all the class mounts because it was it was something that I wanted to do. I kind of didn't do it during BFA. I didn't finish it up because it was. I, got burned out just doing the ones I did as far as class mounts and Legion. But then I you know, did BFA, then took my break from BFA at the end. So when I came back, I was revigorated and was able to just jump in and just crank them all out. So with that said, um, if you care about watching people uh, play a game on uh, stream, I, I'm on Twitch on Wolfen uh, it's Wolfen, uh, W-0-L-F-I-N-N. -N. <laughs> um, I've also got a Facebook page, Wolfen Gaming. Wolfen spelled the same thing, the same way. And a YouTube channel with uh, as Wolfen Gaming. But anytime I stream, I always record. I, I always download it and then throw it up on YouTube and on Facebook. So uh, YouTube is probably my main place that I really care about the most. Um, until if, if my streaming kicks off then probably str Twitch will probably be a little bit more but right now my YouTube channel is my biggest one but if you want to take a look at my other videos I've been streaming been streaming and recording my videos since uh, launch since Shadowlands launch uh, just gameplay videos mostly uh, of Wolfen um, mostly of uh, Wolfen leveling Basically an hour a day, from noon to one Eastern Standard Time, and but check out the channel, check out uh, my Facebook page. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, do a like. If you want to see a newborn content creator, I guess is what we're called, uh, go from beginnings to hopefully better things, better productions, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, hit a subscribe on YouTube and uh, follow along. But uh, thank you very much for watching and hope you guys all have a great night. Bye.